Hi y'all, Terhi here again. I'm playing with my own collection from Hipkit Club. Um, not that I have designed it, but I have stored it. I have a mix from um, past years, from December daily kits and November and December kits. And I want to play with these um, cut out words from 2016 to show you how I did the rainbow layout I did a um, couple weeks ago for HipKit Club using the October 2018 kits featuring Pink Paisley Whimsical collection and I have a lot of questions that how did I do it so here I will show it I didn't do any kind of process video for that one so I want to show you it now with this one, a similar technique. So I have all those cutout words and first I thought if I would put these words to the rainbow order as well but as you can see the colors are not rainbow, they are Christmas colors so that's why I decided to mix the colors up and it will look good. I added two similar colors next to each other, like two blacks, two creams, two whites, two pinks. You get the point. Uh, just because I will use watercolors for this layout and it's much easier to use them for a slightly bigger area than just this one um, cutout word. All those phrases and words are something close to Christmas, like oh dear, happy together and blah blah blah. Um, and of course the photograph is from our Christmas photographs too. Um, I'm using 3D foam to attach all of these words and I'm not going to add them... Um, uh, I mean they are straight vertically but I'm not going to add uh, attach them like um, beautiful straight line. I want to make it live so that's why I'm going to make a little difference from um, where I put them and how I put them slightly over top each other some and some underneath. You can see it now. And to cover the top area of each, each word or praise or paper slice, I will use these lovely snowflakes, which were from last year's kits, I think, maybe. Anyway, uh, I really like these snowflakes and I, th I thought these could be kind of the flowers that I had in my previous layout, uh, but flowers don't fit quite well to this Christmas theme and this will no um, of course some colors uh, some flowers would fit but anyway back to the point um, I'm going to add all those lovely snowflakes here and they will cover up the not so beautiful part of the top part of the paper slices and again, I'm using 3D foam to make them pop up and some higher, some lower and then these beautiful little presents to cover up some holes which are left from the snowflakes. And one or two snowflakes on top of the photograph too. Um, in those um, snowflake, in this snowflake package was also um, golden snowflakes, but I thought that wouldn't be too shimmer, <laughs> too, too shiny, so I found these old uh, Pink Fresh Studio stickers and I added them, and they are much more better. So, the the trick of the layout is watercolors. I didn't put any kind of gesso to the white cardstock I'm using. I'm going to use so 
little amount of watercolor. As you can see, I, I made my own mix from white and turquoise and I'm going to just add a um, really small amount of watercolor which will fit to the color of the paper slice. I will not use black, I will leave the black uh, paper slices kind of empty. Um, I will just use pink and turquoise and uh, probably something, some crops of something else, but um, mainly those colors because black would be so dominating and uh, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is, as I have two slices there, I want to make a little... <laughs> I want to make it look like they're dropping something and that's why I'm making this V shape underneath the um, paper slices and then some drops next to it and then it will look like it's dropping out. It's as simple as that and that's why I'm using the 3D foam because I will want to add uh, slightly underneath each paper slice it's like two millimeters like super small um, area but it will make it look like it's really underneath the papers and that's it of course I will click some mist drops everywhere as usual <laughs> but mainly just these areas and then I'm going to use um, red and white to make really um, perfect light pink. I will add some um, lila. Is it lila? Anyway, lilac um, to the mix to make it perfect. Mm, these watercolors are. Hmm. Now I don't remember the name. But anyway. You can use any watercolors, and if you have been ordering hip kits, you will definitely have some watercolors in your closets. I mean, we got those lovely Vicky Booting watercolors a couple months ago, maybe last summer or last spring, and those are wonderful, but these are um, quicker to use as the Vicky Booting are in tubes, but I like them too. Um, Hip kit club color kits are always including something to go um, with mixed media. This month they have stencil and some shimmers, watercolors and paints, which are adorable. But I just wanted to try out mixing my own colors this time, which I haven't done quite much yet. And I want to learn new things. Um, learning new things is like the uh, key to my happiness. <laughs> I think it's always fun to see how other people are uh, doing things, crafting and um, making layouts or anything and then I can be inspired by them and I can learn new things. Yeah, but back to the layout. Um, here I just want to flick some mist and add some small crops. I mean, I could do this forever, just adding some crops here and there. But obviously, at some point, I need to stop. But here you can see how the layout came together. It's quite simple, actually. And I leave all the upper <laughs> part of the layout without watercolor. I'll just add some color because now it looks kind of boring and I have these lovely stars which are exclusive for Hip Kit Club um, and I want to add them to a little underneath the snowflakes because it will look just better and of course the pink and teal green will go super well to this layout repeating the same colors. And that's it, then the layout is ready. I hope you have now somehow learned how to do the kind of layout I had a couple of weeks ago. Um, now just some finishing touches. I thought to draw all these 
um, snowflakes but then again I didn't remember to do that oh, I forgot it but I started now <laughs> and then when I uh, stopped photographing and stopped recording um, I forgot it so now I have half of one one snowflake with this doodling and then nothing else but that happens anyway the main thing is that now you know how to make the kind of layout that I had a couple of weeks ago um, over at hip Kid club social media channels I think it was in uh, Facebook so now you can do it yourself and I hope you will and if you will tag me so I can see it Thank you for watching and have a super nice holidays, Christmas, whatever you are celebrating. Thank you for watching and bye!